Come here often. There is that which dies and that which is eternal, that which is mortal and that which is immortal. Where do you put your attention? You can look day in and day out at all that is dying, all that is wounded, perishing, suffering. It is endless. In a mortal scenario, all things age, decay, and die. But what abides? What does not decay? This is the place where we ask you to open your heart and receive. Receive what is deathless. The love in the eyes of an infant. The promise in the flight of a bird or the tiny seed of an oak tree. All you can touch, taste, and smell is temporary, dear one. So keep turning your eyes to the immortal. Say, yes, I see you, to all of that. I see you. I see you, even though you were hidden behind the veils of matter. I see you. I see the dream out of which the flower has burst forth. I see the designer of all those forms and dreams and futures. I see that deathless one who dreams this cosmos into manifestation. Beyond all this dreaming, there is more imagination than the universe can hold and more life than a poet can dream of. Yes, yes, the divine is invincible unstoppable and eternal. And the pilgrim says, Let me know this to the deepest part of my bones, my cells, the living water in my body. Let me know what is true. Let me have joy in those things that I can do, that I came here to do. Let me have joy in each opportunity to offer undying light and love. Let me offer comfort where I can and sustenance where I am able. And let me help others to open to the light in their way, in their time. It is not enough for me to be busy just doing some of this and some of that. It leaves me hungry and dried up. I wish to be a vessel of offering of this your eternal, deathless, light field of love, beyond all glimpsing and understanding. I feel the fierceness coming through me, saying, Now! Do it now! So I am doing it. I am listening. And I am seeking. And I am sitting with you in silence. Oh, beloved, what more can I do while I am human in this time? The lover says, do this. Come here. Come into our circle, our energy, our beloved communion. Come here often and often often. This is how it works. This is how the cup is filled to overflowing. Without your self-offering, without your empty vessel to fill with glory, there is not enough strength for all of this. And strength is what you need, beloved one, to be so alive. And understand that your strength 
can only come from us. Everything else you see, taste, and touch is mortal, precious one. You must come to this threshold, to our communion. Here alone, you will receive the living water, and nowhere else. It is not something you can create on your own. Always remember, we are here. <laughs>